it's a pretty windy day here, end of November in northern Germany, two hours north of Berlin here, where I live. Uh, thanks to my son uh, Sam in uh, Ottawa, he suggested I make some more movies for YouTube, the stuff I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to do this video now to show how the uh, rocket stove fits onto my existing stove. So first I'm going to show the setup, and then I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'm going to show you how I put it together. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Thanks, bye. Okay, this is going to be the setup. It's going to go into the bench of my stove, which is here. Everything's a bit messy at the moment, but that's how it is. And uh, it's going to come from outside here, through this, through the bottom of this window here. There's the the uprise from the YouTube here, and then it goes outside with the timber feeders. To so have a look a bit closer, how it will work. Uh, the barrel is going to sit on top of this part of the YouTube. Here's the barrel. where the barrel is going to sit and uh, the gases are going to come up from that T-junction going to come up here and come down here come down the sides here down the sides here, this would be blocked off as shown and it's going to run down into the service vent of the bench which I got here okay, that should be it this is how the original stove worked Uh, we have uh, chamber one here at the bottom, chamber two, which is the fire chamber, and chamber three at the top here. Okay, we light the fire here, the exhaust comes down here into the chamber one, right up through this pipe here into chamber three, and then up the exhaust here. The flaps are A and B. Uh, flap A is to to have it open when, the, when we start the fire, so we have a direct route for the exhaust to go straight to the chimney. Flap B is to close the whole system off when, when the whole thing is stored with uh, heat, so we don't get any heat loss up the chimney. Now we have the uh, rocket stove attached here into this bench, so the exhaust will in fact go come down here, up here, bypass chamber 2, the fire chamber here, and go straight into chamber 3 and then out the exhaust here. This is where I decided to put the uh, rocket stove. Uh, I came across this uh, plastic which I marked then. I transferred the holes through into the inside with a drill. Then I jigsawed it out. Then with a uh, piece of cement board I cut a hole in it and screwed it in from the inside. From the outside I prepared the barrel, the, the uh, wood burning barrel, to take the pipe. There's the wood that's the barrel standing and there's the pipe coming to the inside as a secondary thought uh, this opening here that I closed up with a pillowcase for now is could be a, a way for the outside gas to go directly in, into the uh, into the bench and get its energy stored in there. So what you'd need here would be just a tap to open that up. The outside hot gases from the fire would not want to go up here I presume. They'd take the shortest route or the easiest route and go directly into my stove. If need be you could put another tap on the rise here and close that and open that and that would have maybe the same effect. Here I reinforced the floor to because it's a bit bouncy the floor to stop it breaking. Uh, here we started to do it wet to build it up. On the uh, bare boards inside the chamber we used this uh, Blair torn it's called in German. It's like expanded clay 
I use that as an insulation about three inches thick to stop any to stop my floorboards from burning hopefully so here I improvised uh, used what I got to try and put the lid on it some little bits of concrete that I had and then to fill the holes in I put some uh, tiles there okay trying this rocket stove out now at last it's finished now oh there's a bit of draft not much but a bit it's eating bit him mm-hmm it's not good what is finish on oh it's gone get all this knocked out yeah the draft is okay i think it should work huh should do so that means you could have it inside. And so the Not combustion chamber works without oh, killing the draft. And without the fan on. This, yeah. this looks quite good so far. Okay, here we, here we have the, the flames are coming uh, too high up. And uh, it's pulling all right at the bottom, but if we put it like a slide, like a, a lead going into the fireplace, maybe at the other ends of the timbers won't burn. We'll try that later. Okay, and now we put a, a lid on it and it seems to be much better now, we're controlling the draft more. Let's have a look at the fire down there, it's much better. Uh, we'll be looking at the condensation. I think I saw a little bit from that before. There's not a lot of condensation, but that could come from the wet clay. Let's have a look at the exhaust. I think on the inside we had a reading of 240 on the in the drum just now. So here we have a bit of smoke or water vapor, hard to say. Okay, now I put a leading leading edge to it, an insulating leading leading uh, trough kind of thing, and it's pulling uh, hardly any smoke coming out of the top now. So it is directing it much more down the fire, which is great. The fan is still on. Uh, condensation is... Well, that we need to measure later. But that looks pretty good. Not a lot coming out there. Compared to before, we had this completely wet floor here. Let's have a look at the exhaust. Up the stack. That's still pretty smoky, but that could that could be a lot to do with the wet clay I just built the, the housing for the rocket stove it's been running for about an hour and a half now, the fan is on, you can just hear it uh, I seem to need that on at the moment because the I think the gases are fairly damp um, on the top here we have well this is kind of drying off here. That is uh, 47 degrees. So that's pretty warm up there. 289 we got there. That's pretty hot. And on the top here we got uh, 336. So outside it's uh, smoking a little bit. A few days later I go for this option of putting a, a cheap uh, fan at the top of the chimney stack to suck the smoke out. Okay, see that light. And then what is it, like half an hour later or something? In the chimney. Oh, it's hard to see again. Not a lot of smoke coming out of there. The fan is pulling it out fairly well. Okay, I guess the stove's been on now for about four hours. We're taking some readings here. Okay, and this counter here, this 22 only coming out of the the stove going into the chimney. Just hardly anything. On the seat here, next to the uh, rocket uh, extension. Let's see what we got there. 
we've got a 37 degrees, that's body temperature, so that's quite good for a bench. Uh, over here we don't have very much, I don't think. Here we have a 23 degrees only. Okay, on the uh, rocket stove housing here, at the bottom we've got 42. At the top middle we've got 42. On the top we got 77 degrees. Uh, in the middle of the barrel we got 160 degrees. Uh, right on the top of the barrel we got 328. Okay, and on the, uh, on the uh, horizontal part of the U-tube of the rocket stove, which should be insulated, but which isn't very much, uh, we have uh, 85 degrees. Mm-hmm.